won't die, Travis. Santa! I don't know how you know any of this, Darcy, but you can bet your life I won't tell you anymore. There's no way I'll sell. Look, Febron, there's a fortune to be made in this. There has to be some- There's nothing. It's not sane. Not sane? You're saying no to millions of dollars here. Millions? Are human lives worth so little? You're looking at it the wrong way. Just think of it as capitalizing on the surplus population. Don't call me again. You should realize I'm going to make this happen with or without your cooperation. This is impossible. I'm hoping you'll heal completely. The surgery was a risk, but very successful. And you were very strong before the accident. Accident? Fabron, he just stood there. I begged him, but he wanted me out of the way. The Travis, calm down. Do you have any proof? Evidence? Then there's nothing I can do. He's been at the ring for a few days now. He's called Chad. Wears a bright yellow jumpsuit. Foolish if you ask me, but he holds the badge, so he's famous, of course. The Phoenix badge? You want it, Cecil? Yes. Who doesn't? Will you kill to get it? The Phoenix badge demands the respect of everyone, old man. And there's the money, opportunity, fame. It's worth anything. Fame. I only see shame and brutality. I attempted to conceal this project's existence, and especially its possible militaristic uses, but needless to say, I have not been successful. It has the potential to be twisted, and I fear it could tempt whole cities into war if it fell into the wrong hands. And Cecil and Travis, their feud has become deadly, and I've been unable to convince either of them to stay and help me protect the district. Time will tell but it grieves me to see such talent wasted on pointless prize chasing. End. Recording to stop. I think this pit had rules, kid! Nicely played, Travis. You really know how to get what you deserve. We could really use more people like you in our Phoenix program. If you were to join up, I can guarantee you endorsements, money, your name up in lights, and all I ask is a small percentage of your winnings. With your, how shall we call it, mechanical augmentation, you'll be right at the top of the game. You really think so? Definitely. Do you have a quiet place where maybe we could go talk more? Yeah, the Fabron District. What did you say your name was? 
Darcy Kearns, but you can call me Darcy. We can talk in here. Great. Oh, you know what? I left my briefcase in the car. I'll be right back. The Phoenix Badge. Are you happy now? I didn't kill him. I knocked him around a little, but he was a thug anyway. Stupid kid. All brawn and no brains. Will you be able to just knock around every opponent you face? Only a killer can keep the badge, Travis. Is that what you want for yourself? Your glory lies in who you are not in how you perform. A true warrior must hold to that. If you pervert your character, you'll lose your real glory. A glorious warrior shows grace even to those who do not. You tried to kill him too? Give me the bat. I warned you, Febron. With or without you. If you pervert your character, you'll lose your real glory. shows grace even to those who do not. Thanks are in order, Febron. Some of the other districts think this will give them a competitive edge. I rather agree, don't you? Oh, and thank you, Travis, for letting me in and subduing Cecil for me. Now I just need to tie up a few loose ends. Fabron, can you forgive me for my foolishness? You have my forgiveness, Travis, but you hardly need it. It took me many pain-filled years to learn what you realized and accepted in a very short period of time. The grace you showed to Cecil surpassed that required of ordinary heroes.